Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. This is probably going to be the nerdiest episode I have ever recorded. And uh, the reason for that is I am joining a crusade. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through my initial army, which is a 500 point army. Uh, basically we're starting at 500 points and then every two weeks I believe we're going up another 250 points, but more on that soon. Okay, so if you've been watching my channel for a little while, I, I believe I have mentioned this a few times now, uh, especially in live streams. Uh, I am joining a crusade. So a few of the guys at the club, there's nine of us in total. And basically we are split into three teams. There's one for chaos, there's one for Xenos and one for Imperial. So I'm part of the Chaos team and there's also another Death Guard player and a Chaos Space Marines player. Oh, in the Xenos Alliance there is a Necrons player, a, a Tyranid player and there's also a Corn player <laughs> who we couldn't kind of fit anywhere else so he's with the, those guys. For the Imperial there is Dark Angels, Iron Hands and Admech. So a pretty good mix, I'd say. Basically the story is there's like this ice planet which is inhabited by Tyranids or used to be. And we've all kind of like got there in different ways. My faction, for example, they crash landed on the planet. So let's, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I will, I'll show you my army. I've got it all sitting in front of me here. And then we'll kind of go over like some of the rules and stuff and how it's going to play out. But yeah, let, let me change a couple of things here and uh, I'll take you through my army. Okay, I've just played around with some settings just to make sure uh, this all works out all right. I have the terrain set up because I was taking some photos before. And sorry, this is a little bit um, blurry in the background. But let me introduce you to the warlord of uh, my faction. And actually, so my warband is called the Tarnished Host. And this is the leader of the Tarnished Host. His name is Rocky the vulture rustmore he is a converted librarian in uh, terminator armor so i actually haven't used him too much in battle yet i've kind of been saving him for the crusade so his nickname is the vulture and i think it suits the sorcerer in terminator armor so well because they kind of like drop in and you know try and pick off those easy targets with their once per game um, massive nuke they can pretty much do uh, but talking a little bit about the model basically i took a librarian and I gave him a Death Shroud head. There's a couple of bits and pieces on here from the uh, Chaos Lord set. Uh, so the spikes on the back. And this worked out so well. But like I mentioned, it's on a Tyranid pl planet. Sorry, I just noticed my nails are real bad at the moment. Uh, it's on a Tyranid planet. And uh, one of uh, the factions is also Dark Angels. So it's so cool that uh, it's even more thematic that he's got those on his spikes there. But yeah, basically... Uh, Rocky the Vulture is going to be leading my warband uh, hopefully to victory across, across this campaign. We, uh, we shall see how it goes. Uh, but basically the story is with um, the Tarnished Host is that they were in space and they ambushed a Dark Angels uh, convoy and while they were all fighting they got caught up in like a warp storm and so the Tarnished Host and the Dark Angels group, I'm not sure what their name is off the top of my head, they uh we all crash landed on the Tyranid planet okay next in terms of our other characters i've got my foul blightspawn i actually gave these guys names so let me just bring it up real quick so his name is anrock blightspawn one thing i should have mentioned is i've never done anything like this before never played dungeons and dragons i do have um the new boulders gate and it's kind of like the extent of uh is it called crpg i'm not too sure but yeah so terrible with uh, naming things and coming up with stories and that but there's a website for like death guard where it's like a name generator website so i kind of use that for for inspiration for some of these but yeah this is anrock now i do have a unit of uh plague marines uh five of them and they are mainly focused i haven't given them individual names but the unit is called the tarnished host first attachment i'm not sure like would you guys usually go as far as giving the whole unit individual names i've got a uh heavy plague weapon i've got the spewer uh, this guy here has got bubotic weapons, another heavy weapon here, and the champion who has heavy weapon and a plasma pistol. Pretty standard uh, loadout for me. I have one unit of Nurglings. These guys are called the Mischief Makers. <laughs> I think they're so cool. Very familiar with Nurglings now. I like them a lot and they're a lot of fun to play. I have a unit of cultists which I've just recently finished painting. One thing that we kind of agreed on uh, within the group was that we'd try our best to make sure that all of our units are painted. Uh, hang on, I can just see this is getting a little bit dark. Let me, we tried our best to make sure all the units were painted. So I've been painting a lot of cultists lately. Yep, there is uh, 10 of these guys. I have a, uh, my trusty rhino. Oh, sorry, the cultists are called the rusted blades. 
You can see uh, with the tarnished host, I'm kind of going for like that rusted metal kind of theme in terms of naming conventions and also color. One I forgot to mention with my my sorcerer here, I kind of inverted it where most of his armor is metallic and then he's kind of got green uh, highlights around him instead of the standard uh, Death Guard colors. My rhino here is called Ironhide and yeah, that is from Transformers. I was, I was a huge generation one Transformers fan when I was a kid. And then last, but definitely not least, I have my carnivore and this guy is called the hound. I love a car I love the carnivore. I think they're so cool. Oops. I, I wish I'd put slightly stronger magnets on their arms uh, because they do fall off and move around quite a lot. But yeah, basically the carnivore is, or the hound, sorry, is the muscle in my army. Like I mentioned, we're starting at 500 points and then we are going to be increasing that uh, every second week I believe by 250 points so I think these first few weeks are going to be pretty wild you know I think it's quite hard to find balance in a 500 point game but I'm pretty happy with my army I think they're fairly balanced you know I've got a bit of chaff that can uh, do secondaries I got my plague marines and a rhino for a little bit of movement this guy can obviously uh, the vulture can obviously drop down and bomb stuff and then I've got my carnivore to take out uh, any potential big threats uh, that might be there. So that is that is the army. Okay, and then one other thing I wanted to show you guys is this is the the map, kind of the planet that we're fighting over. So oh, I forgot to mention I did create a custom logo for my Death Guard. Now I'll put a picture of it on the screen. I used AI to create it, and with my initial list, I was thinking of running a Lord of Contagion, which is why the logo kind of looks like it's a, a great axe. But I ended up changing and uh, the logo is just the same. So that, that's fine. I'm going to keep it the way it is. This is the planet. Basically every, I think it's every week we get a resource called territory points. And we can take one of these blank spaces by spending one territory point. Now these special ones, they cost, uh, these ones here, they cost D3 territory points. I think these ones cost five. This one costs D3 as well. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. But basically we, we each had a starting position and then we chose where where we could expand and I chose to take this, uh, I think it's a Chaos Shrine and I rolled my D3, so I forgot to mention that we started with 3 territory points. I rolled my D3, I got a 6, so that's why I only have one extra space here where you can see everyone else has got a whole lot more <laughs> territory already. Uh, the reason for that being is every time you take over a new space as well, you roll a d10 and I think it's on an 8, 9 or a 10 you get extra uh, territory points. Let me give you a breakdown on kind of what's going on here. Uh, this is me in the middle here. Uh, this is the other Death Guard player, so he's kind of taken over the top here, looking to secure uh, some of these special ones up here. My other ally is here, so you, so you can see he's taken these three, he must have gained an extra one and grabbed this. This is the Dark Angels player who I was fighting in space and we crash landed on the planet together. So he's kind of taken this area down here. Uh, this must be the Admech player, I think. And then we've got the Tyranid player down here who has also taken one of the Chaos things and uh, whatever this is. Uh, the Corn player has taken this over here. Necron's kind of in the middle. Uh, the Iron Hands player is uh, currently on vacation, so he hasn't rolled for any of his stuff yet. But he will be, um, once he's back from holiday, uh, that's when we're going to start kicking things off. With this map, basically, if it's a free, free terrain, you can just take it if you've got territory points. But if someone else takes it, then you have to play them for it, essentially. And uh, every week we're going to aim to play games and get experience and stuff and so that's kind of like one side of it that I really need to learn is uh, once you get experience um, giving units buffs and things and I think you have to be a lot more careful with units because if they die in battle they potentially can get negative traits. If any of you play Crusades and you've got any advice for me please let me know because I'm going into this kind of like completely blind but I do know that if I hold this chaos thing I think every week I get a special kind of resource which I can use to buff my army like once a week or once a fortnight or something like that. So I'm going to do my best to hold this for two weeks. Obviously this Chaos player is on my team so I've got no threat of him taking it. This Dark Angels player could potentially challenge me for it but I don't know maybe it's a bit too early. I have a feeling everyone's going to try capture as much land as they can first 
before the battles start happening and in the meantime if there aren't any battles for um, territory we will just be playing random battles against each other just to make sure that everyone is getting experience every week so yeah this crusade is kicking off this week i believe uh, which is pretty exciting i haven't played a 500 point game in ages and i'm gonna do my best to not be super competitive with this list but more have it more narrative driven so for example i'm currently holding this chaos this chaos land thing and if i hold that until my next we have the points update i might add some chaos units you know like a uh, more nerglings or chaos spawn or something that's that's fitting of the narrative as as opposed to just adding like meta picks like a I don't know like a play burst crawler and a lord of virulence or <laughs> death shroud terminators or something like that you know so i'm really excited to have this story driven we are planning on working our way up to 2000 points so that means i, I guess this is going to be carrying on for at least a few months i'll keep you guys updated on all, how all the battles and things go and, and let you know how like units perform and stuff like that so you know if any of you guys are like story writers and yeah, this is something that you do quite a lot Sorry guys, I just had to run downstairs real quick. I had a, a pie in the oven. <laughs> um, but what was I saying? I was saying, oh yes, so if any of you guys are like uh, really into this sort of stuff and you want to add more story to my guy, I do want to, you know, have some part of this community driven as well. So uh, there might be polls in the future around, you know, which units I should add to my army next and what should, what should I call them and all of that sort of stuff. So uh, I'm pretty excited to start this and look forward to sharing it all with you guys. If you made it this far into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm really hungry, so I'm going to have this lunch and then probably start editing this video so I can get it up. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. See ya.